If you live in New Jersey, there's a chance you felt the earth move last night. Yeah, there was an earthquake. It wasn't big, and believe it or not, it wasn't unusual. Meteorologist Lauren Casey explains from the Einstein Healthcare Science Center. It wasn't a big one, but it was enough to rattle some nerves. Around 6.30 Monday evening, the ground shook as a 1.7 magnitude earthquake rumbled beneath a northern New Jersey town. Residents say they felt the earth move. Nearly 150 people reported light shaking. A 1.7 magnitude earthquake rattled the town of Morris Plains Monday night. It was a micro earthquake, which has a magnitude of 2.0 or less. A very weak earthquake that is not uncommon in New Jersey. There are lots of faults in the New Jersey area because it's an ancient plate boundary. Um, it was a site of collision and then rifting apart uh, that separated the Americas from Europe around 300 to 500 million years ago. Nicholas Devontes at Temple University says here on the East Coast, people are more prone to feel weaker earthquakes because of the type of rocks we have. Here, you can actually be as much as 10 times further away from an earthquake as you would be in, in, in the West and, and still feel it. People feel more earthquakes here, in a sense, than, than they would otherwise, uh, even, even for small earthquakes. This area of the East Coast is no stranger to earthquakes. In August 2011, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake rattled the Philadelphia area, sending people out into the streets and even damaging a 30 foot tall statue that sat on top of Our Lady of Lords Medical Center in Camden. That 2011 earthquake was centered in a rural area of Virginia and was one of the largest earthquakes ever recorded on the East Coast. The last earthquake recorded in New Jersey was just this past March. It was also weak, a magnitude 1.3. In the Einstein Healthcare Science Center, I'm meteorologist Lauren Casey. We were just